What is a pseudoscience? Pseudoscience or pseudoscience is called all forms of affirmation, belief or practice that appears to be scientific without being so, that is, without following the steps of objective verification stipulated in the scientific method. Therefore, the postulates of a pseudoscience cannot be reliably verified, nor do they have official scientific status, nor are they endorsed or legitimized by any institution in the area. Science is characterized by the acquisition of knowledge through observation and experimentation of reality, empirically. Pseudosciences, on the other hand, are based more on a system of beliefs, judgments and popular half-truths, which always remain in an uncertain region, often unfalsifiable, unverifiable, and even mystical. The boundaries between science and pseudoscience have political and philosophical implications, and are vital in matters of health, law, environmental policy, or science education. However, many pseudoscientific beliefs are ingrained and widely distributed among people of all educational and cultural backgrounds. Hence, in the fields of knowledge, the term pseudoscientific is used with a pejorative charge, to say of something that is closer to occultism and popular mythology than to properly logical, rational and scientific knowledge. Characteristics of Pseudoscience A pseudoscience usually has some of the following characteristics. He is an occultist. It takes refuge in the shadows of scientific knowledge, usually as part of a story of global conspiracy, arcane knowledge or secret traditions, so that its followers feel possessors of a supreme and exclusive truth. It has no official legitimacy. Pseudoscientific doctrines do not appear in official scientific publications, nor do they have the backing, support and interest of the institutions that hold and promote scientific knowledge. On the contrary, they are frequent in disclosure, superstition and occult publications. Copy the scientific terminology. Apparently, a pseudoscience uses scientific terms and language similar to that of an official discipline, but without the support and specialized knowledge behind the sciences. It is a kind of disguise that does not support a specialized review, and that often inadvertently exposes the author's ignorance regarding the specific topic, since they use scientific terms in an imprecise way or contrary to their meaning. It is dogmatic. It raises a series of beliefs that must be accepted or rejected, but that do not allow refutation and verification, as the exact sciences do. It does not pursue general laws. Unlike the sciences, they usually raise particular cases that contradict the general apparatus of the human sciences. Does not accept review. He usually attacks his detractors with ad hominem arguments to the person, such as accusing him of blindness, of being part of the system or of persecuting the enlightened. It is immutable. They adhere to their body of beliefs without rethinking, re-evaluating, or further developing them, even in the face of the tests of official scientific discourse. It is inconsistent. Their approaches are not integrated with other fields of knowledge, external inconsistency, nor do they respond coherently to their own postulates, internal inconsistency. Examples of pseudoscience Parapsychology studies extrasensory phenomena among living human beings. Some of the disciplines currently considered as pseudosciences are the following. Astrology. The belief that the position of the stars at the time of a child's birth has a marked influence on his character, his destiny, and his relationships with others. Magnet therapy. A practice that supposes diseases as imbalances in the magnetic and electric field of the human body, and that aspires to cure them by applying magnets and metals to the skin. Cryptozoology. The study of living beings, animals, unknown to contemporary zoology, from testimonies and traces, footprints, remains, etc., when not supposed photographs, as happened with the Loch Ness Monster, with the Yeti, etc. Feng Shui Coming from the east of the world, this discipline explains the energy currents of people through the orientation and arrangement of the elements of their home, to achieve therapeutic harmony. Phrenology Widely practiced in the 19th century, this doctrine sought to determine the facilities, impulses and personality defects of people based on the shape and characteristics of their skull. Parapsychology The study of extrasensory phenomena among living human beings, such as telepathy, clairvoyance, telekinesis, and even contact with the dead or with entities from other planes. Ufology The doctrine that supports the presence on Earth of extraterrestrial life, 
and that tries to prove its manifestations and its contacts with the human species, as well as its responsibility in the construction of great historical landmarks, such as the pyramids of Egypt. Types of pseudoscience There is no official classification of pseudosciences, but we could broadly classify them according to the logic of their doctrine. Conspirators those who aspire to reveal to the public a truth that has been denied them by powerful and secret groups or consortiums of global interests. Historicists. Those that try to demonstrate their postulates through reinterpretations of true historical events in light of their doctrine. Metaphysical. Those that try to give an alternative explanation, usually magical, mystical or parascientific, to real and proven phenomena, or even more so to those that have not yet been deciphered by science. 